Joining us now, Congressman Adam Schiff, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee uh, from Burbank. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Uh, terrible shooting at YouTube headquarters. Uh, another uh, instance of mass shooting uh, in, a, in a workplace. The, the, the polling suggests that Americans want tougher gun laws. Uh, the Hill today with, with another uh, uh, poll that shows just that. What's the status of congressional proposals to increase gun safety? Well, after every shooting, uh, we always think, okay, finally we're going to get something done. Uh, I know most of us felt after Sandy Hook that what more could the nation need, and yet we were stymied. This time feels different, and I think the reason is these, uh, these young people from Parkland are leading a national movement, uh, and you see it reflected in the poll numbers that you mentioned. Uh, but, you know, for quite some time, not only a majority of Americans, but a majority of members of the NRA have supported basic common sense things like universal background checks. I think we're finally going to get it done, and young people are going to lead the way. This, this demographic change that's taking place, uh, people that are fed up with you know, being afraid when they go to school uh, or they go to the movie theater or they go to a country western concert. Uh, it, it's crazy. Um, so I think it's going to happen. Uh, we saw the Florida legislature steps, which I would have never imagined the Florida legislature would do. Um, and, you know, we are trying to gain traction again in Congress. Uh, the midterm elections, I think, will be very important. And I hope that people uh, in Congress feel a real sense of. Uh, trepidation if they're not with the program that they're going to get voted out and that's what it may take. Yesterday Facebook announced that it removed 70 of its accounts uh, and 65 Instagram accounts as well that were controlled by a Russian agency. So what do you think about that and do you think there'll be more action taken by Facebook? Uh, I think it's a very good step uh, and these are accounts that were linked to that internet research agency out of St. Petersburg that had launched that uh, surreptitious social media mm -hmm. campaign during the presidential election. So they're still at it. Now, these were Russian language ads targeting Russian uh, speaking people, both in Russia and outside of Russia. But they're still by this agency that is effectively a state organized troll farm. Uh, so it's a, it's a positive step. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is going to be testifying before Congress uh, later this month. I think that's also positive. Um, but we're going to have to keep the pressure on and make sure that we're overseeing uh, not only Facebook, but the other social media companies to make sure that their platforms are not being abused uh, by foreign powers, uh, but also that the private data of Americans uh, is protected. We saw with Cambridge Analytica that tens of millions of Americans had their personal data compromised uh, and used for political purposes without their knowledge. Uh, and obviously we need to make sure that doesn't happen again. President uh, Trump is saying that the U.S. troops should guard the, the southern border until there is a wall. Is that an appropriate use of, of troops? Uh, I don't think it is. And now, part of the problem is, the, as is often the case with the president, we don't know exactly what he's saying. Um, if he's talking about active duty, duty troops, that would violate the law. Um, if he's talking about using the National Guard, other presidents have done that too. What makes it a bit unique here is the reason he's doing it. Um, part of it is his watching Fox News and getting upset about something he sees on Fox News. Um, the reality is that we have the lowest levels of illegal border crossings in decades. You'd have to go back to 1971 to find such a low level. So it's not responding to some surge or increase in illegal immigration. It's rather the president's way of trying to bring additional pressure on the Congress to uh, support a border wall that doesn't have sufficient support in Congress or the country. So he's willing to hold the future of these dreamers uh, hostage, uh, as well as send the military to the border just to try to leverage support for this wall. Let's talk about uh, DACA. The president blaming you and your fellow Democrats for killing the, the DACA deal. The president, you know, put a plan on the table a few weeks back saying he would offer citizenship to almost two million dreamers if Democrats would agree to more funding for the wall, limiting uh, chain migration, as he calls it, and getting rid of the visa lottery system. So is it dead? Can you guys come together and, and have a compromise in some way to get this done? Well, I mean, here's the thing. The president claims to want to fix the DACA or dreamer problem. Um, he says he cares about the dreamers. Well, the Democrats want to also solve this problem. Um, it has strong bipartisan support. If the president were serious about this, we could put a bill on his desk tomorrow and he could sign it. But it isn't about the dreamers for him, except to the degree that they can be used as leverage uh, for this wall, uh, which doesn't have support. Um, but why are the two combined this way? 
Um, why are we, are we dangling these dreamers uh, out there to try to gain legislative leverage? We shouldn't be doing that. Um, I think it's appalling. Uh, but, you know, in, in sort of presidential fashion, he wants to blame everybody but himself. If he wants to protect the dreamers, he could do it tomorrow. Uh, and we would support him. But that's really not where he's coming from. The only thing he seems to care about is that wall. Uh, now, originally, he offered a deal, uh, and the Democratic leadership in the House and Senate accepted it. But then the hardliners got to him, the Stephen Millers and others, the people on Fox said he was basically selling out, uh, doing amnesty, and he withdrew from the, own, the only deal that he had agreed to. Uh, and then he became very hardline and, and tried to bring in all these other issues like what he calls chain, but w what we refer to as family-based immigration. So there's a simple solution here. Bring up a clean dream act and solve the problem. Uh, I hope we can do it. Uh, it's not going to be dead because we're not going to let it die. Uh, we're going to keep fighting until it gets done. Um, you and other uh, members of the California delegation have been fighting for funding for the earthquake early warning system. There is now some funding for that. What happens next? Well, and this is great news. Uh, the system is being built out uh, with monitors up and down the West Coast. Um, we were able to get about $23 million uh, in the federal budget, which should be enough to finish the build out. Uh, we still need to work on a federal, state, and local uh, agreement in terms of operating costs. But when that's done, I hope it will be done in the next year or two. Uh, people will be able to get messages on their phone, hey, there's an earthquake coming in 30 seconds, 20 seconds. It'll allow people to get to a safe place. It'll allow people to stop surgeries. It'll allow people to stop trains. Uh, it'll let uh, utilities turn off uh, natural gas and avoid uh, fires. Uh, it'll save a lot of lives and a lot of damage when a large earthquake comes. So that's very positive, a big step forward. Once again, Congressman Adam Schiff of Burbank is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Thank you so much.